If you've never had a bed bug infestation, count yourself extremely lucky. The critters are becoming increasingly resistant to insecticides and can cause so much havoc, entire carpets, beds and couches have to be thrown away. Now, researchers may have stumbled on a potential way to prevent infestations occurring in the first place by studying the bug's preferences for different colors. This study was carried out by researchers from the University of Florida and Union College in Lincoln. They created small tent-like shelters, or harborages, made from colored card and placed them in petri dishes. A bed bug was then placed in the middle of the petri dish and given 10 minutes to choose one of the colored shelters. A few variations of the test were also conducted, such as testing bed bugs in different life stages, of different sexes, individual bugs versus groups of bugs and fed bugs versus hungry bugs. The results showed the bed bugs strongly preferred red and black, and they seemed to avoid colors like green and yellow. It was speculated that a bed bug would go to any harborage in an attempt to hide, wrote the authors. However, these experiments show bed bugs do not hide in just any harborage. Rather, they will select a harborage based on its color when moving in the light. We originally thought the bed bugs might prefer red because blood is red and that's what they feed on, said Dr. Corrine McNeil, one of the co-authors. However, after doing this study, the main reason we think they preferred red colors is because bed bugs themselves appear red, so they go to these harborages because they want to be with other bed bugs, as they are known to exist in aggregations. While this is a plausible explanation, many factors influence which color the bed bugs chose. For example, the bugs' color preferences changed as they grew older, and they chose different colors when they were in groups than when they were alone. They also chose different colors depending on whether they were hungry or fed. Furthermore, males and females seem to prefer different colors. The authors suggest a possible explanation for why bed bugs avoided yellow and green colors is because those colors resemble brightly lit areas. These findings are important because they may have implications for controlling the pests. We are thinking about how you can enhance bed bug traps by using monitoring tools that act as a harborage and are a specific color that is attractive to the bug, said Dr. McNeil. However, the point isn't to use the color traps in isolation, but to use color preference as something in your toolkit to be paired with other things such as pheromones or carbon dioxide to potentially increase the number of bed bugs in a trap. In light of these results, People might be tempted to throw out the red and black sheets in place of yellow and green ones. However, Dr. McNeil warns that they might not want to replace the contents of their linen closets just yet. I always joke with people, make sure you get yellow sheets, said Dr. McNeil. But to be very honest, I think that would be stretching the results a little too much. I think using colors to monitor and prevent bed bugs would have to be specifically applied to some sort of trap and it would have to be used along with another strategy for control. I don't know how far I would go to say don't get a red suitcase or red sheets, but the research hasn't been done yet, so we can't really rule that out completely.